Hello everyone and welcome to my another video where I'm going to talk about some very helpful tips and tricks for answering questions during the AWS exam. I have gone through AWS exam more than 10 times and every time I follow these tips and tricks especially when I'm not too sure about the possible answers and I passed more or less all of the AWS exam in one go luckily and in this video I'm going to tell you exactly what those techniques are for you to crack AWS exam so without further ado let's begin before we dive into those specific strategies let's start with a very brief overview of AWS exam process the AWS certification exam are designed to test your knowledge and skills in various areas of cloud computing. They are multiple choice with a mix of single and multiple response questions. The exams are proctored online or you can take the exam in the exam center as well and you will have a set amount of time to complete them. Alright, so let's talk about those tips and tricks that I follow before every single question during AWS exam. Number one, read the question very carefully. This may sound very daunting, but if you don't do that, you might miss the main point of the question. Make sure you understand what is being asked before you start looking for the possible answers. All right. Number second, look for keywords. AWS exams often use specific terms and phrases to indicate what type of answers is expected. Pay attention to words like least, most, best, and correct, as this can give you a clue about what the question is really asking. Here is an example from AWS Cloud Practitioner Exam. A company is migrating an application that is running non-interruptible workloads for a three-year time frame. Which pricing construct would give you most cost-effective solution? And here in the question, give more focus on this most keyword. All of these given options might be right, but to get the answer correct, you need to choose the best suitable option which offers the most cost-effective solution. Also try to find out whether the question is looking for a solution to improve latency or optimize cost or implement high availability or fault tolerance. For example, if the question is asking about latency, possible answers might be related to CloudFront or some sort of managed caching services provided by AWS like Redis or Memcached. If the question is asking about implementing high availability, possible answers could be auto-scaling or serverless architecture. So, Keep these keywords very seriously. Another strategy is eliminate wrong answers. If you are not sure about the correct answer, try to eliminate the options that you know are incorrect or you think this option doesn't make any sense. This can help you narrow down your choices and increase your chances of guessing correctly. For example, here is another question from AWS Cloud Practitioner Exam. A company is considering using AWS for a self-hosted relational database that requires a nightly shutdown for maintaining and cost-saving purposes. I can easily eliminate Amazon Redshift from being a possible answer as I know Redshift is not a database, it's rather a data warehouse solution. I can also eliminate the Amazon DynamoDB option because I know DynamoDB is not a relational database model it's a NoSQL database model. So by eliminating these two options, I increase my chances to get the correct answer by 50%. So eliminating wrong options will really help, but to be master in eliminating, you need to have a very good understanding of core AWS services. Use your knowledge of AWS. The exams are designed to test your knowledge of AWS. So if you have a strong understanding of the platform and its capabilities, you will be in good position to answer the questions. Don't get stuck in the details. While it's important to have thorough understanding of AWS services, 
the exams are not designed to test your knowledge of every single detail. Don't get stuck trying to remember many details. Focus on the bigger picture and how AWS works as a whole. Then time management. Time will be your main enemy during the exam. But my suggestion to you is don't rush, stay calm and quiet. Answer the easiest questions first. If you come across some difficult or lengthy questions or if you think it's taking too much time to find the right answer, skip that for a while. You can always come back to that question later on. If you have answered all of the questions and you still have some time left, utilize those minutes. Revise the questions and your answers as many as you can. I found some questions incorrectly answered during my revision. So revising might save you if you are lucky enough. No question is dumb question. Even you answer incorrectly, there will not be any negative marking in AWS exams. So if you are thinking you are running out of time and you still have some questions to answer that you think you cannot finish, don't leave them blank. Quickly go through them before the final bell and apply your guesses. If you are lucky enough, you might get some of them right. My last advice to you, practice, practice and practice. The more you practice, the more comfortable you will be with the exam format and the type of questions you will encounter. Consider trying practice exams of studying to help to prepare. So that's all. We hope these tips and tricks will help you feel more confident and prepare for your AWS exams. So that's all. Thank you.